What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to Mac with Sequoia, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have 15.2 and you can see for me this update is actually not showing up in order for it to show up for you you have to go into the beta updates page and because we have two concurrent running betas on sequoia then you have to select 15.2 right there and then click done after you do that it's going to check for the update and give it a few seconds sometimes it take it can take as long as two minutes and after that the update is going to show up as you can see for me mac OS sequoia 15.2 beta comes in at exactly 14.98 gigs on my 14 inch macbook pro and you can see here they're telling you that this gives you an early preview of upcoming apps features and technologies please back up your mac before you install and this beta is powered by apple intelligence and it gives you the ability to be able to try the apple intelligence by joining the waiting list in settings and you'll be notified if you are qualified and they've added more languages to be able to help you to set it up and if you visit the apple intelligence webpage where they talk about it on iphone and mac devices and show the compatible devices right here you can see that here they now made in addition to the languages that are supported so you have australia new zealand just like i mentioned and you can see most of those countries here just to continue with the update even though it's a large update size it's not going to take existing storage it's simply going to override the update that mac os currently has so let me quickly update and then we'll see what's new and of course alongside this update apple also released the corresponding ipad os and ios versions for 18.2 and this updates adds a lot of like uh, custom emojis that you can create right there and they updated gen emoji and image playground which are features that you see right here so do subscribe to stay up to date going into the system settings and go to see mac os storage as well as the build number you can see for mac os 15.2 the build number we have is 24c 5057p storage that apple is 10 intelligence is taking is 6.03 gigs now i am running low on storage my mac will probably clear soon but now let's talk about the new features and changes that this update has to offer now one of the new things that this update brings is new image playground after updating I tried looking for image so when I search for image it doesn't show up when I search for playground this application doesn't actually show up but if I go into finder and go to the applications and then search within the application and say image just like that you can see the image playground application now now shows up it's not showing up in the launch pad or in the app section when you go there but this is how image playground looks and I'm on Mac OS 15.2 of course I'm in Canada right now as you can see and you can see the pop-up screen that I see is early access requested you'll be notified when image playground is ready for you to share feedback the strange thing about this is I actually didn't request access for image playground on my mac i did request access for image playground however on my iphone that's on ios 18.2 and you can see the text here is slightly different you'll be notified when image playground gen emoji image wand are ready for you to share your feedback from my experience and what i've seen image playground which allows users to create images in seconds choosing from different animations illustrations or sketch this app is built right into apps like messages and is also available as a dedicated app that you can see this seems to be available for a lot of users in the us but for others that have the siri language set to the us and that have the device language set to english us are having a lot of issues so maybe eventually they will give me access and i'll be able to demo some of the environments and sketches and images that you can demonstrate right here but it's good to see at least we have the first stage of implementation in mac os let's say a man using a laptop in a cinematic office and then we'll click like this and it says unable to use that description let's add baseball cap unable to use that description we'll try again unable to use that description you just basically type your prompt in here and it has this cool series animations you can give costumes for example superhero vampires to the character or person you can choose a person here if you have an image you can upload and then choose your default appearance right there and then here you can choose a style now 
this animation style is the one that's selected for me by default but you'll be able to choose illustration and another mode as well and if you want to upload the photo this is where you can choose a photo i'll choose this one and it says try a photo with one person so i tried a couple more photos and it seems to be glitching at this point in time but just to show you you see here on this section you get suggestions and then when you go next you get themes that you can choose and if you go on the next page you get costumes and next is accessories such as sunglasses wand hats hard hats baseball caps and the next is places you can choose different environments and that's just about it once you describe an image then it will generate it for you if i close it and reopen it again it still tells me that it's in beta and yes i have to wait for the full access and that's why i'm getting errors another thing that has been updated here is the chat gp integration with apple intelligence and siri so when you go to your settings and go to siri and apple intelligence when you go down on the extend apple intelligence and siri you have chat gpt that you can set up and it says chat gpt can help you write create an image answer questions and more and there's this setting that says setup prompts allow siri to suggest using chat gpt when appropriate and this is on by default now let me set up chat gpt integration this is the pop-up screen that you see when you try to do this so when your mac works with chat gpt can do more for you integrates with siri compose text in writing tools so there'll be a new compose section writes with a chat gpt works with a chat gpt account and you can see here you if you can read the chat gpt terms of use so if i click next there's privacy and chat gpt mac works with chat GPT GPT in a way that preserves your privacy using chat GPT without an account so you can actually use it without an account or you can have an account and be able to use chat GPT and they tell you that you have you have the ability to choose what to share with chat GPT and I've enabled it now my Siri and Apple intelligence is using chat GPT without an account but if you want to sign in you have the ability to sign in right there and if I click continue let's see it I always get this pop-up that says there is a problem signing into your account I was able to sign in to chat GPT and Apple intelligence on my iPhone on iOS 18.2 and this is what you will see once you sign in it will show you chat GPT paid if you are a paid subscriber or have chat GPT plus if you are not paid then it will just show a normal account and it show you the email as address associated with your account and it will give you the option to sign out as a result of this apple intelligence and chat gpt integration in the actual mac chat gpt application that you see chat gpt for mac you see the current version that i'm on we now have a software update and you can see it right there chat gpt and this is the version for it for mac os in the official chat gpt application for mac and for ios they've added a setting that allow it to work with siri and allow siri to learn how chat gpt response to prompt in order to improve siri and apple intelligence now something else that has been added all thanks to the apple intelligence and chat gpt integration is a new compose section so you can see now when you go to writing tools whether you access it from the top icon right there or from simply just selecting the text and then right clicking and then going to writing tools you notice there's this compose section and when you click on it it says describe what you would like to write and chat gpt will create it for you so so if I say a video on Mac OS 15.2 and then I click enter you can see how it's composing and this is undergoing change if you give it a few seconds you'll be able to see how it's going to include in all text and you can see once it's done this you notice Mac OS 15.2 highlights Apple intelligence enhancements image playground chat GPT integration advanced writing tools notification management gen emoji continuous AI focus and you can choose add more detailed descriptions of AI features in include user testimonial or feedback discuss future potential updates for mac os and if i click this you can see how it changes the text in the field above so i can say discuss more future potential update for mac os and then if i click enter you notice it's going to recompose the text so this is something that has been added and now you can see collaborative and how it's basically recomposed the text and so on and this is all thanks to suggestion by chat gpt and the new 
new compose feature that we have all thanks to apple intelligence and of course with each mac os update since apple intelligence is getting better with each use the writing tools that we have right here are getting better and better and so with each update you can expect to see something like this on ios 18.2 the apple mail application has totally changed you now have items and profile pictures that are depicted on the side and icons and other functions are more prominent but on the mac os apple mail application that change hasn't yet been implemented it still has the apple intelligence quick summary email priorities and writing tools and quick response suggestion but the redesign and ui hasn't changed at least for me when you open up the freeform application for the first time you can see it's going to tell you all about image playground which is a feature of chat gpt and you create scenes send a copy enhance editing and create fun original images based on description or select text and images and once you click continue that will disappear and you're going to see more splash screens especially in applications that take advantage of writing tools and apple intelligence that is especially those that are apple default software apps the app store was also updated when you open it for the first time you'll see a couple of applications received updates and you can always update those and if you go to the apple arcades and you go to the sorting option they've improved this and the arcade section for me always takes a bit of longer to load but that's a change that you can look into and at the same time if you're wondering about the airdrop and handoff issue that i'm experiencing i'm still unable to send files from my iphone to my mac using the uh, airdrop so it's an issue and my iphone is updated to ios 18.2 and my my uh, mac is on mac os 15.2 there is a bug on iphone mirroring when you try to use writing tools but then when you re add it again like this you can see it pops up and now you can proofread and use different writing tools and at the same time the compose that's here with chat gpt is also available in continuity and every time you create a new prompt or select something and make changes there's that cool animation that has been added which is pretty cool so in general those are the main new features and changes that this update has to offer when it comes to mac os sequoia 15.2 this is the update if you like this video and found it informative in a way definitely hit the like button as it helps us get more exposure and at the same time don't forget to subscribe so that you stay up to date with the next video that will be dropping pretty soon my name is ben and i'm signing off